you might at times need to store certain data in your apps, such as settings or a small collection of key values that you would like to save. If that is the case, shared preferences might just be what you need. You can create a new shared preference file or access an existing one. You can access these files by calling get shared preferences or get preferences. If you use get shared preferences, this is used if you need multiple shared preference files identified by name. You might have different files that store these key value pairs and you want to identify them by name. You can use get preferences if you only need one shared preference file for an activity. So when you call this method, it will get the default shared preference file that belongs to that activity. So you don't need to supply a name because that is the default shared preference for the activity. Now you can use shared preference for settings or little values that you want to store. In the next lesson, we will dive into the code and play with shared preferences a little. See you in the next lesson.